Hey guys, it's Kazaris back with, uh, I don't know, uh, some conglomerate of a deck. Um, so this was the Joey Legendary deck that I used for the Meta Championship Series. And uh, I was messing around with like a ton of ideas. I was using Fusion Recycling Plant. And I was using the, like a bigger BLS engine. And I don't know, I just... I wanted to use Destiny Heroes as my one of my standard decks. Um, but I just decided to switch that for Amazon and play Destiny Heroes as my legendary deck. And so it's pretty much just masked heroes with a 10 card red eyes engine and some other stuff thrown in. So so the gear freed here, so like if I was playing this optimally, like the gear freed wouldn't be in here. Uh, I don't know, I like the BLS, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, I just, I, I messed around with a ton of ideas and I just, I was playing Malicious, but like if I bricked, then Malicious was just even worse because I couldn't summon it. So I'd rather just have Destiny Heroes that I could summon, like Drill Dark there that I put in. Um, and then I had Cyclones in another deck. So these, I was like, what what can work with Cyclone? Or what can be in place of Cyclone? And I didn't want Storm because Double Cyclone's a quick play and I wanted to be able to do end phase shenanigans. So I feel like Double Cyclone fit pretty well. Um, originally, this was Beginning of Heaven and Earth to use with BLS, but it was a little too slow, so... And I still needed back row removal to deal with, like, Amazonas and the Legendary uh, deck matchup, so... I, I like the Double Cyclone that came in handy a few times when I drew it. Um, but yeah, like, the monster lineup, I think I got it as good as, good as possible. Um, so the three Vions, and the Vi so the Vion is a, your Polymerization Searcher, and it banishes a monster for BLS in the case that you draw a BLS. Um, so that's why it's better than Blaze Man in that sense. And it's also able to be used in Mass Chain. Um, so that's really good. And then Celestial is just your draw engine. And then Decider is the other level 4 Destiny Hero that you can normal summon. And is very solid. Uh, it can't be attacked by level 6 or higher monsters, which was pretty relevant in the Slash Mirror a few times. It was nice to have him. Um, yeah, I, I think everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Like 3 Spirit, 3 Insight, 3 Red Eyes, Black Dragon. That's just... Max out on the ratio of the good cards. Like you want to see where that's Black Dragon, Mix Slash, three Mass Change, three Poly, um, three Vion. Like those are all pretty standard. And I'm playing two of like the situational ish hero ish ish heroes. Uh, to play three King of Swamp, I don't have three unfortunately, but two is fine. Um, yeah, no complaints there. Um, yeah, I, I like the main deck. I worked on it a good bit. I think it's pretty consistent. And then so the extra deck was the only problem. So it was like I was like at a crossroads like I do I want to play Trinity like Trinity was the first one I cut because like I'd, I'd rather have I'd rather be deciding between Anki or Slash here uh, and then the one dangerous is really solid too in the case where I couldn't make Slash I would at least have like a dangerous polarization play to set up my graveyard for like Celestial and stuff um, but yeah uh, I was debating between three Slash and or three Anki and one Slash or two and two and I am glad I went with the second Slash because that came up twice and the third Anki did not come up at all in the MCS. Um, so yeah, uh, last gamble, that's the Joey skill. It's the best one for the deck. Uh, so let's get into some replays here. Uh, this first one's against Zane. Uh, I wiped the floor with him. Uh, it's just kind of a introductory kind of replay just to show you what's going on with the deck. It, it's cool too, because like, you can open red eye stuff and play red eyes and make slash, or you can just open destiny hero stuff and just play master. It's just like this is like the deck. It's like it's like two, two two sided deck. Like you can play it together, or sometimes you'll just play it separately, which is fine. Thirty card destiny hero deck. Which honestly, as long as you see that mass change, then you're fine. That's all you're gonna see. So yeah, we opened pretty well here, and just gonna summon and set everything. And he has the Cyclone on my mass change. I chain it here. Now, in hindsight, like, if I feared a Cyber End play, I probably should have just kept the Decider on the field. But I was like, if he has the drive, then he can just attack over it anyway. So I'm just going to summon Anki here. And thankfully, he just sets two and passes. Now, I draw the mass change here, but it didn't matter because I was searching anyway with Anki. And I don't play the third one. So, like, if he had, like, a Karibo here, I think I was screwed. But he didn't, so... So the mass change again, and attack our game. 
So yeah, like I was saying, like at worst you're playing mass heroes, which is what I liked about the deck. And at best you're making slash and anky, which is really strong. Like yeah, I had I had one game where first turn I made or going second I made slash with an anky play. Um, now against this player here. Unfortunately, I'm at Cog rank now, so it's hard to get competitively consistent replays. I just want to show off the deck more, you know, rather than what it does against other decks. So it's kind of the position I'm in right now. Um, got some Pegasus here. We don't last gamble on either of these replays, unfortunately. Yeah, we have been pretty well here. He's going to restart. All oh, right, this is a Grass Spellbooks player. So he's gonna restart. He's gonna set up. I, I was so confused by this duel. But he's gonna set up a fate play. He's a prismatic blue boy, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, yeah, but he's gonna set up a, a fate play, but only he only has two spell books in the grave. So he has life in hand. Searches fate, and sets two. Um, I'm gonna summon the Vion, but. I don't want to summon the Slash because I can't, like, he can't banish it, but, like, he can still flip it face down and then set up a Fate play on the next turn. Um, so I just, I still didn't want to summon the Slash just yet. I just want to clear the blue boy. And he's going to book a moon in here and search the organization. Now, that's what confused me. Like, he's going to search that, and he's going to skip his draw phase because of restart. And then now he's just going to pass turn. So like, I was just, I don't know, very confused. But I'm just gonna play around the Treacherous here. Summon only Slash Dragon Attack for 3,000. Now it's his turn again. He's just gonna set two. And like at this point, I have no idea what's going on. So I'm just gonna attack again. He's gonna organization here, and that's gonna be game. I'm, I was pretty sure, I looked at his deck list afterwards, and he didn't have Treach in the deck, so I was pretty sure that was a Treach based down. Um, so, played around it there pretty well. Um, let's just get into a quick live duel here. See if we can get something going. Nice. Nice and quick. I forgot my laptop charger down at college when I came back home, so <laughs> I'm trying to record this video as quickly as possible before my laptop dies. So that's why it's a bit laggy here. I'm running on my laptop battery, not it's not plugged in, so <laughs> might be a little finicky here. But gotta get those ideas out there, you know. Gotta get my brain, babies. All right, so we're just playing red eyes this time, I guess. I don't know what the hell. All right, so it's fine. Oh, even better. So top deck a warrior, which is what we needed. Now I have a slash backed up by a double cyclone and a revival for the slash. Summon this here. Use these two as material. Boom bang. Attack. Use the insight real quick. Basic plays, basic red eye slash plays. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I get to show you the dichotomy of the deck. You, did, you saw a two re you saw a replay where I played just Destiny Heroes, and now I've seen a replay where I'm playing just red eyes. Set two. Now, if he kills the slash, we have revival. If he doesn't, we're gonna bring back the red eyes and kill him. Now phase. Attack. Equip. Also, if it dies, we have BLS. BLS is such a good card. Especially in like a deck like this. I look back at Meta Championship Series 5. That was when uh, Red Eye Slash Dragon was relevant because Red Eye Zombie was still a deck, so people were using Red Eye Slash Dragon to counter the Red Eye Zombie. Since if their Red Eye Zombie attacked, Slash could still equip because it only says if a red-eyes monster attacks. All right, now we definitely win. Top deck the monster. I'm gonna summon the decider here. No, we don't want to use the pet. We're gonna attack. 
and he's gonna scoop it up. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it. Did you just not, like, SSA deck on Joey? Uh, let me look at this real quick. God, man, people are so dumb like you. Like, last gamble, last gambles, <laughs> okay. On that note, I will catch you guys around.